Last train leaves downtown Buffalo at 2 a.m. Plenty of options to stay safe during New Year's. Back to you, Heather. All right, Joshua, some good tips there. Thanks so much. Well, we have an update for those of you who are still waiting for your property tax rebate checks. Unfortunately, most New Yorkers will have to wait just a little bit longer. The state's tax department said it has sent about 428,000 checks out of the 2 million that need to be mailed. So the checks, they're going to keep arriving into the new year. Checks will be sent to homeowners who live in school districts that did not go over that state property tax cap and also to homeowners who get a star exemption or credit, make $275,000 a year or less and who have paid their school taxes. We are just two days away from the new year and also a major change in state policy on paid family leave. New Year's Day is the deadline for private employers to start offering paid family leave to their employees. Those who are self-employed are not impacted and public employers like government agencies, they can opt into the program. But private employers need to obtain a paid family leave insurance policy, which experts say can usually be a part of a company's disability policy. Employers can go to the state's Department of Financial services website and select a select a state approved insurance company. Paid family leave can only be used for certain events such as the birth of a child or to care for a sick family member. Even if you don't have an event that you know you're not expecting a child, there's no one sick in your family right today, you would still be paying for the benefit. It's insurance, so it's then there for you if you need it down the line. Once that's done, employees will have a small deduction from their paycheck, either weekly or biweekly, in order to cover the paid family leave policy premium. The deduction for this year is only 0.126% of your weekly wage. For example, someone who earns about $1,000 a week, that's $1.26 taken from your check. So really, not a whole lot of money there. Also happening next year, middle class taxpayers in New York State will see a small cut in their income taxes. The state's income tax rate for joint filers making between 43,000 and a little over 161,000. They're going to see the, it drop from the current 6.45% to 6.33% in 2018. For single filers, the same rate cut will apply to those making between $21,000 and $80,000 a year. And for married filers making between $161,000 and $323,000, the rate will drop from 6.65 to 6.57%. The tax cut is part of the new income rates approved by Governor Andrew Cuomo and lawmakers in the last two budgets. Still to come here on Daybreak, we're going to check back in with Maria. She's got a look at your New Year's Eve forecast. Plus, a look at some of your top national stories, including a look inside that New York City apartment building where that deadly fire took place yesterday. Right now, it is 9.08 here on Daybreak. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.